of course, the way that science proceeds is you come up with a, a theory, you look at the world, you try to explain it. Um, you're more than, more often than not, almost always, as a certainly a theoretical physicist, you're almost always wrong. You are certainly never absolutely right. Um, you can be temporarily right and approximately right for a while, and then some new data comes along and, and your theory must be refined or indeed jettisoned. It's a very humble approach, and it's, it's not often communicated as that, actually. Some, quite often it seems that scientists are, are priests who sit on top of a mountain and pronounce on the way that we should, the world works and what people should think. Nothing could be further from the truth. That, that idea that science is a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, I think is it's central to the success science has had in explaining the natural world as we see it. But it's also, Feynman points out, a useful approach to all human endeavour. The, the fact that, that the, an absolutist is someone who really, there isn't great value in being an absolute, in believing yourself to be absolutely right. No, not only is that not the way to discover how nature works, but it's not really the way to, 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 run, to run humanity.